Uh, well and welcome to a new video on stochastic Lagrangians. I'm your host, Trader Zeta, and hopefully you're doing very, very well. Classically, Lagrangian mechanics are in uh, this form right here. You have uh, j equals integral a to b of some Lagrangian function, dx. And inside the Lagrangian, you maybe have a variable of x, maybe some y of x, maybe some y prime of x. And this uh, L uh, Lagrangian function right here uh, basically obeys uh, the Euler-Lagrange equations. So the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to y minus uh, dx, um, uh, derivative of Lagrangian with respect to y prime equals zero. So what does this uh, look like? What does this really mean? It basically means that in uh, a space you, ha you can have the shortest distance between uh, two points. So in the Euclidean world, if you have a to b or b to a, this is a straight line, right? So this is a uh, this is R2, so this is R1, this is R1. And it's just flat space, and clearly the, the shortest distance between uh, you know two points is this line. Okay. So now let's ask ourselves how can we stochasticize this? If we uh, introduce a stochastic variable, uh, S of X, right? Stochastic uh, function. Um, this is based off of a general iterative process. We have integral a to b, uh, stochastic Lagrangian. All the x's are just replaced with uh, the stochastic process. And it's also going to obey the Euler-Lagrange equations, but just instead of x, we have sx. Okay? So the question is, is that when does this work? When is this useful? Uh, basically on a stochastic manifold, m sub i, M is built from a stochastic metric topology where we have a set X and a distance function, D sub I. In this case, um, in this particular case, it's going to be X is going to be the real number, so R. And this distance function is right here where you have two the, the difference between two general Ido processes. Okay? And where I is the mu and the volatility. Okay, so these are considered to be homogeneous throughout. They are, you know, the mu and the volatility is the same throughout the entire manifold. This doesn't necessarily need to be the case, but it gets way more complicated if, uh, if they're not. So we're going to do a simple example where it's homogeneous. So the question is, what would this stochastic Lagrangian look like? Mind you that we are in stochastic space. So we are real, real times real. So this is maybe x and this is y. And they're on the reals, and the shortest distance between two points is this stochastic line right here. Okay, so in this uh, manifold, we have to just choose a general Ido process. Uh, so for our example, we're going to choose uh, this one right here, uh, mu uh, stochastic process dt plus sigma stochastic process d with respect to the minor process. And that is going to be the classical uh, geometric Brownian motion. So we can solve immediately for S, X, okay? Now to remind you in stochastic calculus, we have quadratic variation. So the derivative of a function with a stochastic process in it equals F prime SX DSX uh, plus one half F double prime SX DSX squared. So in our general case, what we're going to do is we are going to set y prime of sx equal to df sx. So we're going to square it, and you'll see why in a second. So when we square it, these terms go away, um, and all we're left with is uh, this right here. And the reason for that is because d to the sx, you know, raised to the k uh, equals zero for k greater than or equal to three. And that's because when we square, when we, uh, so this is dsx, and when we take this to the three, everything goes to zero. And the reason it goes to zero is because when you multiply dt times dt, it's zero. When you multiply dt times dwt, uh, it becomes zero. But if you multiply dwt times dwt, it becomes uh, dt, okay? That's in the stochastic calculus world. So thus, we're going to set our Lagrangian equal to square root 1 plus f prime of sx squared uh, sigma squared 
sx squared dx. Okay, and that is very close to you know this is classically uh, the um, the Lagrangian for uh, Euclidean dynamics. Okay, so Lagrangian equals square root one plus y prime squared, and the solution is ax plus b. And as you can see, like you know, in Euclidean space, it's a line, and ax plus b is the equation of a line. So I'm going to spoil the chickens right here for you all. I'm going to say the stochastic solution to this is all of this. So if we set our Lagrangian to the stochastic Lagrangian, uh, we are going to say that the solution is in integral a, sorry, integral zero to t, volatility squared, a uh, times a times sx plus b dx equals zero. Okay, and very easily we can solve this uh, equation to get sx equals b divided by a. And the question is, when is this true? So we will find the expected value and show that x equals one divided by mu ln b divided by a times s sub zero, where b divided by a uh, times s sub zero is greater than one. So this is a really cool result. Uh, we're going to prove this on the uh, other side of the board. So let's uh, flip the board. Okay, so now we plug into the Euler-Lagrange equations, our stochastic Lagrangian. And here we've just uh, you know, sectioned them off. This is the first one, this is the second one, uh, this, is, and this is the third one. So the first one is very, very easy. We take uh, the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to y, and we see that there is no y at all, so this goes to zero. The next one is that we take the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to um, this y prime of sx. And as you can see, this becomes uh, this right here, y prime sx divided by square root one plus uh, y prime sx squared. And now what we need to do is find the uh, stochastic derivative of that right there. Now we need to employ the help of the Taylor series here because it does become quite complicated. So find the Taylor series of x divided by square root one plus x squared. And we find that this is actually the, uh, um, the Taylor series, x plus, this is a plus right here, um, x plus, x cubed divided by two plus three x to the five divided by eight minus five x seven divided by 16, so on and so forth into infinity. Now, uh, I remember I did tell you that uh, d f s x to the uh, k, where k is greater than or equal to zero, is zero. So guess what? All these terms go to zero. So this x is going to be subsumed with y prime s x, and that just makes this here. So as you can see, this right here is our result. And all we need to do is take the stochastic derivative with respect to this, which is just d squared f of the stochastic process. All right, now here is the Euler-Lagrange equation, so we're just gonna write them out again. So this is zero, and this we found is this right here, and it's equal to zero. Okay, so very easily we just have uh, this equation right here to solve. We have negative f double prime sx uh, d sx squared and there is going to be an sx squared equal to be zero here. And the solution to this is just um, a linear combination. Uh, actually, there should be, this should be x squared. Okay, there's just going to be uh, linear combinations right here. And then we can plug in our sx, our stochastic process, and the dsx here, okay? And we're going to unpack the dsx. We get um, sigma squared, stochastic process squared dx. And then we can see that this is our general solution. Very, very nice. So the question is, is that uh, when is this like true, right? So we can solve both sides and get sx equals a constant two divided by a constant one. And the expected value of sx is equal to the first value times e to the mu x. 
And then we're going to set these two equal to each other and just solve uh, for 1 divided by mu ln uh, b divided by a times s sub 0, which equals x. Okay? And as you can see, we've just you know, done this b and this a. This just equals the constants. Okay? So that was a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, share, and subscribe.